People always grouse that Chicago is becoming third world, it's so dangerous. But that's not true at all. Chicago is far more dangerous than most third world cities. You're way less likely to be murdered in La Paz than you are in Chicago. But the city's mayor, Lori Lightfoot, isn't concerned at all. She's not fighting crime. She's spending her time uploading videos like this onto TikTok. Once again, it's a humiliation exercise. How much will you take? They're trying to find out. Dan Proft is not interested in taking a whole lot more of this. He was born in the state of Illinois. He's now a radio host in Chicago. Recently, he released this ad highlighting the obvious. Chicago's really dangerous. Watch. There was a time when Democrats were concerned about violence against women. They said they were. They're not concerned about that at all. In fact, noting it is racist. That's what the governor of Illinois, J.B. Pritzker, has said. He said that ad, which is just tape from a ring camera, has a, quote, racial tinge. Lori Lightfoot, probably the stupidest person in elected office in America, has also accused Dan Prof of, wait for it, racism. And, of course, the local NBC affiliate took orders from politicians, as always, and they pulled the ad. It's hard to believe this is happening, but it is. Dan Prof joins us tonight. Dan, thanks so much for coming on. So can, can you just, like, be creative here? How is it, quote, racist to show raw, uncut video of a crime against a woman that happened on a leafy street in the middle of the day? How is that racist? Well... Well, right, and we, we don't even know the races of the assailants because they were masked. You can't tell from the video. <laughs> Such but, a good I point. Mean, so, you know, I mean, so the, but this is just what Lori Lightfoot and J.B. Pritzker fall back on. I mean, you, you're very familiar with it. You're racist. You're this. You're that. All they have is name calling because they're providing o they're presiding over a lawlessness that has uh, no comparison nationally. An exodus of residents from Illinois, an exodus of, of humanity, not since the seen since the Israelites fled Egypt, and all they have is to create boogeymen who uh, make boogeymen of people who are pointing out what's actually happening. You know, it's one thing to talk about statistics, to talk about the fact that Chicago is approaching 600 murders and 3,000 people shot just this year alone, but but that doesn't bring it home to people the way that something like that. Uh, that that ad that you show does, which is why they had to collude with the network affiliates in Chicago and make sure nobody sees it because they want you to believe everything's just fine. Have a little fun. Pl uh, join Lori Lightfoot in her karaoke contest and everything is going to be OK. But it just shows how cold, how stony hearted, how uncaring about other people they are, because I think a normal person, no matter who they voted for, hears a woman scream in terror, assaulted in front of her own home ah, and immediately feels deep compassion for her and horror that this is happening. They don't seem to care at all. They don't care about crime victims. They care about how crime victims are presented because they need to paper over the fact that this is a team, this duo of Pritzker and Lightfoot, that just moved the most permissive no-cash bail law in the country. I mean, Tucker, we, we have the law going into effect January 1 in Illinois if J.B. Pritzker is not removed from office on November 8th, a law going into effect that makes it non-detainable. These are non-detainable offenses. Arson, aggravated assault, second degree murder, kidnapping. You walk. In Chicago alone, we have had 45, we've had 45 people on electronic monitoring who have attempted to kill or kill somebody while on electronic monitoring. And that crime is coming to the suburbs. That's exactly right. And both Lightfoot and Pritzker are totally insulated by taxpayer funded bodyguards, so they don't care. Dan Proft, I appreciate your bravery. Thank you. We'll be right back.